if you were to go back to when you were either high school or college and you're having a conversation with your 20 year old self, what is the best piece of advice that you would tell your younger self? Don't be egotistical and be more patient. What would you say would be the importance of like having that humility, throwing the ego out the door? When you start making money, if you're young, I made my first million at 21, and when I thought it was everything, I was like, it's easy, I can do this forever, easy, no problem, and I didn't, and I couldn't. I had to go fight and figure it out again, but my ego would not allow me to like figure things out. I thought I had it all, I thought I spent it all very fast, and a lot of times that happens with younger people. So if you keep your ego in check, you can keep your growth consistent. In what industry did you ultimately pursue a career in? Internet marketing, so we have a lot of different companies. Outsource.com, AffiliateMarketing.com. We have a brokerage, we buy and sell businesses. We have a mastermind called Powerhouse that helps people grow their business. But ultimately, in marketing, you need marketing operations to understand how to build a business, and that's kind of where we planted our feet. So if you were to go back to when you started that first business, what is the number one thing that you would tell yourself? What's your best advice to any entrepreneur starting a business in 2023? Hustle. Just working, never thinking that you have it all. Just keep consistently going, growing, and never thinking that it just keeps there. You gotta keep moving. Momentum is driven by money. If you chase money, money runs, but if you consistently keep following and pursuing what you have, you build momentum and money comes back. And you had brought up people and I wanted to talk about, what's the number one thing that you look for when someone that tells you, hey, I need this person to be my business partner. I need this person to come work for me. What's the biggest trait that you look for in a business partner? So I have two rules. I don't work with anybody that I can't have at my house and I don't sell anything anything that I can't present at my daughter's school. So it's ethics, it's honor, it's like community connection, like really being that person to the other person. Because when you're working with someone as a business partner, that's your work wife. That's the same thing as a marriage. You know more secrets and more like struggles and ups and downs than possibly your wife or girlfriend. Like the connection and the relationship you have there is so deep. So you gotta make sure that that is deep because you're gonna get in fights. You're gonna get in bad spots. But if there's love and you're chasing the same thing, then you're gonna move forward in the same path. Yeah, I absolutely love that. When someone does have that idea, right, they start that business. And what is the biggest thing that you've implemented throughout your companies that have really enabled you to scale and grow them to the point that they are today? What's the secret to scaling a business? Building the systems first, build the foundation, and then keep growing from the foundation. You can't build a house like from the top bottom. You gotta build it from the bottom up. But people go fast because they're chasing the money. You gotta chase the process and understand that this is gonna be something long-term. A big house takes maybe a year, right? But you expect that, you understand that. A big business takes long time too. People want something very fast, but you will achieve more in a longer time frame, in a longer time horizon, and you will 100% achieve it if you're consistent with it, than if you just shoot your shot and try to go fast. It'll break, it has no foundation. Yeah. What is the biggest mindset change that is needed in order to become a multimillionaire? Leaders eat last. And if you stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything.